friends, welcome to my kitchen. I'm assuming that because you're here today watching this video, you have some interest in painting your kitchen cabinets. So I'm about to show you how I'm going to paint my kitchen cabinets. I'm Cindy and you can find me on Instagram at Cozy Mountain Cottage. And this is the kitchen in our little Cozy Mountain Cottage, hence the name. Um, we've already done quite a bit to this kitchen. We've removed upper cabinets and put in open shelving. And honestly, a few months ago, about six or seven months ago, I painted these lower cabinets and these cabinets down here white. I actually believe I painted these in um, warehouse white, wirehouse white, not sure how that's pronounced, from Amy Howard because I absolutely love Amy Howard paint. But since that day when I painted these cabinets white, these 31 year old cabinets in this very small park model home, uh, we have decided to live here full time. And therefore we're doing a few other things to make it more um, comfortable for living here full time. But one of the things that I wanna do now is paint my cabinets green. So I have set out to add color to this cozy little cottage and I'm here today to show you how I'm going to do that. Um, but first of all, when it comes to painting, my least favorite part of painting is the prep work. And that's what we have to do today. Now, I love to do DIYs. I love to paint. I've painted for a long time. I remember as a young girl, just loving that, that first roll of paint on the wall. I love paint. Paint is magical. It's amazing the things that you can do with paint. You can take a 31 year old park model kitchen with really old, cheap cabinets and make them fabulous. So uh, previously when I painted these cabinets, I replaced the hardware. So I'm just gonna be using that same hardware. All I'm gonna do now is just zhuzh them up with some amazing Amy Howard green paint, English boxwood, that's my choice. So the first thing that we have to do is talk about what, what we're gonna need for this process. Three things for the prep work, three. I like to be, I like it easy. I like to keep it simple. So I need a drill to take off all that hardware, the hinges, as well as the um, poles. So I need my drill with a full battery, hopefully. I need my Amy Howard clean slate. This will change your life if you've never used it. This stuff is absolutely amazing. It will take off years of wax and grease and grime. And that's one place that you will definitely, the kitchen is one place that you will definitely find that kind of thing. So um, now when I painted these cabinets previously, I did not um, wax them because I'm using Amy Howard paint. It doesn't require waxing. You certainly can if you choose, but you don't have to. That's a great plus. But with any kitchen that's having food cooked in it, fried, that kind of thing, there's gonna be some, some grime and some grease on the cabinets and this clean slate will take it all off. This is literally the only prep you need to do with Amy Howard paint is you clean it with clean slate. I absolutely love this product. And so then the other thing, a white cloth, a lint-free white cloth is what I choose to use. And um, I'll be honest, Mine are cut up t-shirts from hubby. Thanks hubby. So with all that, we are going to get started. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my drill and I'm gonna start removing cabinet hinges. I'll show you how that's done. If you're new to DIY and maybe even new to painting, I hope that if nothing else, what my video will show you is that you don't need to be a perfectionist. You don't need to be a professional. You don't need to have years and years of experience doing this. You just need to have the desire and the cabinets or whatever it is that you're, you're gonna be redoing. So you might even be new to power tools. They're not scary. You just have to jump in and do it. And that's what I did and I'm still learning, okay? I learn pretty much with every single project and I have lots of fails and that's okay because we learn from those. So um, one thing that I've learned when it comes to removing the hardware from cat or from paint, one thing I've learned when it comes to painting cabinets is removing the hardware is really the best thing to do. A lot of people will paint over their, um, their hinges. I've also done that. I decided not to do that um, in this 
case. I, I, I really don't know why I just decided not to. Um, sometimes I feel like it's a little bit cleaner look to have them um, just in their original finish. So I will say that when I first painted these cabinets white a few months ago, I at that time took off all the hardware and I thoroughly, thoroughly cleaned it. So um, these will all get a little wiped down, but they really won't need a thorough cleaning. We don't cook with a lot of grease or really any in here. Um, but so I'm just going to wipe them down. But one of the ways that you can clean them is to boil them, put them in an old crock pot, cook them overnight, especially if they've got paint and stuff on them, but that really helps to get the grease off. So using my, um, my drill with my Phillips head screw on, screwdriver on it, I'm going to just simply start removing these hinges. Look how easy that was. The first time I painted cabinets was in our last home. It was a 2,600 square feet home. It had a lot of cabinets. And so I did it in sections, one section at a time. And that really helped. Now I didn't prep the inside of my cabinets, so no peeking. That really helped doing it in sections to um, just make it so that I didn't feel like I was living in a war zone the entire time. I actually had a couple of trips during that time. And so um, that's something you might wanna do. This home is only 800 square feet. Very small, very small kitchen, very few cabinets, since I especially since we've removed so many of them. Um, and so I'm just gonna do them all at once and I don't need to label them because actually my doors are pretty much all different from one another. So labeling is a good thing if you have a lot of cabinets. Um, a lot of times labeling hardware is good because sometimes if the hinges have been on a long time or I guess even if they haven't, sometimes you take a hinge off of one door and it won't work properly on another door. It just won't fit just right. So I'm not doing that because I painted all these cabinets once before and I didn't do it then either. Some may call me a lazy DIYer. I'm okay with that. Okay, so as you can see, <laughs> Speaking of a lazy DIYer, I didn't paint the inside of the doors when I painted these cabinets before. And I'm not going to this time either. Let that be okay. And the reason I'm not doing that is because, well, frankly, I don't want to. And part of me feels like nobody sees the inside except me. And I don't really care. The reveal is what's most important to me. So, also, in all honesty, I will tell you that now that we're living here full time, we're going to be removing these cabinets. Might not be for another year or so. So I, I'm going to go ahead and, and paint them and see how I love them. And then when we get new cabinets, if they're not already the color I want, those cabinets, I may paint the inside of the doors. I did paint the inside of the doors on my last house. So now on the inside of these hinges, there are three little screws. And you know what's nice about all these, all this hardware is these screws are the very same screws that I took out um, from the, the where it was hooked into the face frames. So I don't even have to worry about getting my screws mixed up. Okay, so just like that, the hinge is off. And again, you can soak these in hot water. You can scrub them. You can whatever you need to do to get them clean. You can even you can even spray paint them. You can rub and buff them. You can do whatever you want to do. This is my DIY, your DIY, and you do it the way you want to do it. That's the way I, that's the way I see it anyway. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and finish taking off all of these hinges from all of these doors. And I'm also going to um, take off the poles. Again, super easy. It's nice when your screwdriver is magnetic. Oops. Um, boom, just like that, pull is off. And I'm gonna do the rest of these and then I'll be back to show you the next step. That wasn't so bad. No, really it wasn't because I don't have a lot of cabinets. I don't have a lot of drawers. So anyways, doors and drawers, Doors are all off, drawers are out, hardware and hinges are all off. So now we're ready for the next step in the process, which is cleaning with Amy Howard Clean Slate. I love this product. Once you use this, you, you won't use anything else. And it's amazing. It's the only prep work you have to do if you're going to be painting your cabinets with Amy Howard paint. 
use this. It'll get any wax, grease, grime off. This is absolutely amazing, amazing. Worth its weight in gold, literally. The first time I used this on a, on a piece of furniture that I had previously waxed and um, I wanted to repaint the furniture, so I used this, I was blown away. I mean, it literally took all that wax off. So anyway, okay. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do this. And I'm just gonna get started again. I'm just using a white uh, cut up t-shirt of my husband's. Shh, don't tell him. And put a little bit on the cloth here. And also another thing I like about this product is the ability to use it indoors because it's, it doesn't have a lot of smell. Um, and you know, when you live in a cold climate or a super hot climate, I live in a cold climate now. I used to live in Phoenix, and so I, I wanted to do all of my work indoors. Um, well, now I live in a cold climate in the wintertime, and I'm working indoors again. So I love products that I can use indoors, and Amy Howard products are very, very accommodating when it comes to that. Okay, so again, I'm not painting the back side of these cabinets. Within the next year or so, we're gonna be replacing all these cabinets. I'm not gonna go to the hassle. Not that it's a hassle, but you know, it just takes longer. And, um, but when the first set of cabinets I painted in my last house, I did paint the insides of all the doors, but I'm cleaning it anyways. Okay, so that door is clean and ready to be painted. How easy was that? Absolutely love it. Okay, so I am gonna move on and clean the rest of these cabinet doors. Well, friends, that's it for the prep work. All the doors and drawers have been removed. All the hardware has been removed from them. And I have everything safely tucked into these two bags. Um, then I, after removing all of the hardware, I cleaned everything with Amy Howard at home, clean slate. You do not wanna skip this step. This is the most important step in prepping your cabinets grease, grime, wax, anything like that gone so that it prepares the surface for painting and for that paint to adhere to the surface. So do not skip that step. And again, for this prep work that I did today, the only thing I used was my clean slate, uh, a white torn up t-shirt, and my drill to remove the hardware. Easy peasy, it's all ready to be painted and I am so excited for that next step. So I hope you'll stay tuned and join me on the next video when we paint these cabinets green.